Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can clear your browser cache as well as all your cookies and different sites and forms stored in your browser. How do we do it? All right, well, let's jump right to it. Here I am on my desktop and today I'm gonna to show you how to do this in Google Chrome. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Chrome browser. So here it is and it's very, very simple to do. What we're gonna do is up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see a tiny little photo of yourself and next to that you have an ellipses or a dot, dot, dot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that and then you have this menu that appears. Within the menu, we wanna to go to more tools and within more tools, you'll see something that says clear browsing data. What you can also do is if you don't wanna jump through these menus and have to find it that way, you can also just click on the shortcut key which is control shift delete. Uh, so I could also do that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Um, so this brings me into Chrome's clear browsing data dialog and you'll see a few different options here. So you have the time range. Let's say that I went to a website that I don't want tracked on my machine and it was in the last 20 minutes. I could just say, hey, within the last hour, I wanna clear any browsing history. I could do the last day, the last week, the last four weeks, or I could simply say, hey, I wanna get rid of everything. Uh, that's an option. Uh, I could get rid of my browsing history. So all the different websites I've, I went to, I could get rid of them. I could get rid of cookies and other site data, and I could also get rid of cached images and files. Now, one thing is if you went to a website that you don't want recorded, this is probably a good thing to do. The one thing though is cookies are actually valuable. And the reason why is when you go to a lot of websites, you automatically sign in. They have something called single sign-on. And when you keep track of cookies, that's how they're able to do it. So if you, if you wipe those out, you'll probably have to log in again to a lot of the websites you go to. Similarly, similarly with cached images and files, what'll happen is, as you go to a lot of websites again and again and again, what they'll do is they'll cache the images. So this way, every time you visit that website, you don't have to re-download the image. So keep in mind that if you are clearing all of this out, there could be some pain by having to sign in again, having websites take a little bit longer to load. Um, so when there's a site you went to that you know, maybe you don't want in your history, you know, think of the time range. And if it was within the last hour or maybe the last day, maybe you just wanna remove that. Uh, so you don't get rid of all your cookies and all your cached images. But you could decide what you wanna do. Uh, the capability to remove that is here. So your call on how much you wanna get rid of. Uh, and then once you make your selections, once you hit your little boxes here, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on clear data and then that'll wipe it out. Uh, and that history will be gone from your machine. Uh, and really that's as simple as it is. So hopefully this uh, video was helpful. Uh, if it was, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully it saved the day by getting rid of some website that you didn't want tracked on your machine. Uh, and if you want to see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there's another video or another topic that you're interested in learning about, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to make. All right, well, that's all I had. Thanks a lot and see you next time.